Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to cut shokoto for the neckline. The first thing first is all your fabric measuring one fourth measurement one fourth of each measurement plus four inches. Or you either use half inch of the tie measurement plus four inches. Your mark, connect and cut out. The next thing is for you to fold it up to mark out one inch from the fold of your fabric. Mark one inch as a guideline. Connect with your ruler and mark out. Now, the next thing we need to do is to measure out the length of our shokuto. Which the length of my shokuto, the one I'm working on is 41 inch. So I'm going to subtract 2 inches for the waistband from the total length of the shokuto. Now, I'm extending it to the lace edge. I've not had any hemming allowance. So I'm extending it to, to the lace edge and marking out the length of the pants minus the waistband so I'm connecting and I'm squaring out the measurements so we cut cut it out so that we'll be left with the part length minus the waistband measurement So the next thing we need to do is place your tape, subtracting the two inches, approximately one and a half inches because I'm going to leave half inch to join the waistband. So now I'm going to mark the crotch depth, which is ten and a half for a size 42 male clients. Then I connect with my ruler, squaring it out. Next thing, I mark my knee length measurement. The knee length measurement here now is 21 inches. But another form of getting the knee length measurement is dividing between your crotch depth measurement and the ankle length into two plus one inch. So you mark and square it out. So now from our knee measurements and as from the one inch guideline, marking two inches at the knee line, then three inches at the ankle length. Then connect with your ruler. Connect from your ankle to your knee length, then from the knee length, you connect to the crotch depth to the point of the one inch guideline, then to the waistline measurements. So, now from our crotch depth measurements, we are going to mark out the tie measurements, divide into two, 
Now here my time measurement is 25 so I'm going to mark out 12 and a half then I'm going to add a crotch extension which is two and a half inch I'm going to add it to it then the next thing is my knee measurement the knee circumference here I'm going to divide it by two then add one and a half inch sewing allowance to it then my ankle length too, I'm going to divide into two then add one and a half inch then I'm going to connect with my ruler okay The next thing now is for us to mark our waist measurements. Now, for my client's waist measurement is 36 inches. Well, I'm not going to use 36 inches. Due to I'm using an elastic waist band for my client. So now I'm going to add 4 inches to the waist measurement to give more room for the elastic. Plus, I'm now going to add 2 inches for the sewing allowance. Then, I'm going to connect from my waistline to the crotch depth line. Then I'll connect from the extension, the crotch extension, back to, the, to my waistline. Okay. Then the next thing now is, I'm going to remove 1 inch. As it extending it down one inch from the waistline towards the crotch depth, one inch. You, the reason for this is just to remove some suppression from the waistline, so to avoid some folding at the waistline. So now I'm going to cut out. it down so that my fabric will not shift while I'm going to be cutting for the back. Now I'm going to fold my fabric the same way I did for the front and place the front on top of it to cut for the back. So what I'm going to do now is from the crotch extension, I'm going to add 2 inches more for the back, then 2 inches at the nail and two inches at the ankle length. I'm going to connect with my ruler. Then for the waistline, for the back side, Remember, I removed one inch from the waistline of the front 
But this time around, I'm going to add it. I'm going to make it two inches for the back. The reason is to cover the back buttons very well. So I'm going to connect. Connect all my markings. Lining for the shoe due to the fact that the lace fabric had to bring this light so to uh, enable the reflection of my client's underwear not to be showing, I'm adding the lining to it. So I'm going to cut it. is not going to get to the length of the pants. I'm going to stop two inches away from the new measurements. For the back, just as I cut the back shukutu, I'm going to cut the lining the same way, taking the same measurements but ex extending the two inches from the waistline of the front and adding the two inches.
cutting it out. Okay, now I'm going to cut the band for the chocolate, which I'm going to cut on the fold two inches. I'm making the length 42 inches, adding extra to the waist measurements. By the time I'm sewing it, I'm going to cut off any excess. Now I've marked the two inches and I'm connecting it with my ruler and I'm going to cut it out. Now I'm going to cut the pocket for my chocolate. I'm going to cut it. The length is going to be 12 inches and the width is going to be 8 inches. I'm cutting it out from the middle part. Just placing it at the so that you can so you guys can see. 
tight one in the waist. So I'm 